Now, have you ever noticed how some athletes at race start or in training seemingly have their bodies covered in colorful tape like this? And in some cases, those patterns could almost be mistaken for art forms. Now, as great or odd as that looks, depending on your style preferences, it's not actually just there for aesthetics. Kinesio tape is actually supposed to have some big benefits. Yeah, but how can a thin, stretchy, colorful bit of tape like this that sits superficially on the surface of the skin actually make any difference? Well, I'm curious, and if you are too, then stay tuned. Now, I'm going to start by saying that I am definitely not a qualified physiotherapist, just in case you were wondering. So I'm just as intrigued as many of you are as to what this stuff really does. So instead, I've reached out to some far more qualified people out there, I've picked their brains, I'm gonna be doing my best to relay that information in today's video. I also have uh, next to no experience with this stuff. I've had it applied a few times, but can't say I ever really saw any benefit. I, however, there are lots of physios, chiros, and world-class athletes who absolutely swear by the stuff so we thought we'd better investigate on that note i thought maybe i can apply some to you james and i'm thoroughly happy that you've left your legs unshaved so here we go activated that glute awesome that's not a glute <laughs> you're very welcome well as you will have seen, as James is kindly modeling for us right now, Kinesio tape comes in all different colors of the rainbow. But if you would like and prefer a slightly more subtle nude color, that is also available. But let's face it, Kinesio tape isn't meant as an accessory to match your kit. Instead, it's there to help with niggles and overcoming injuries. This is a very bright pink mark. You didn't have something more discreet, maybe. I think it suits you. I'm afraid these are the, um, the only colors I have. So what exactly is the theory behind this stuff? Well, before we get into that, we have to say there is frustratingly little scientific evidence that it actually works. However, the empirical evidence from hundreds, thousands of world-class athletes, including their physios and chiropractors and various other practitioners, means there must be some merit to it. In fact, our own presenter Heather has seen the healing properties of it on herself. But if you've not used this stuff before or had it applied to you, you may be wondering what on earth it really is, other than being this colorful tape, physio tape. And on that note, I mean, the names as well, you may have heard it called physio tape, KT tape, rock tape, elastic therapeutic tape, all sorts of names, but essentially all are the same thing. This style of tape was actually developed in the 1970s by a Japanese chiropractor who was looking to improve the healing of soft tissues. It's a therapeutic tape that's supposed to reduce pain, reduce swelling, and therefore improve performance by applying it to specific areas of the body. Yeah, and in order to fulfill those claims, Kinesio tape has elastic properties, so it can be stretched over and around joints. Oh, thank you very much, James. Uh, here we go again, this complements going? this pink. So um, yeah, so the idea is that the elastic properties in this Kinesio tape can be applied over the skin, but then also crucially, it allows your body still to go through its full range of motion. And as a result of those stretchy properties, which are almost meant to imitate the elasticity of the skin, it's far safer to self-apply than it is perhaps some more rigid tape. And if you want to do that, there's plenty of videos out there that can guide you through depending on the issue that you're trying to alleviate. Did you actually do any of those videos? Because I'm not sure you've done this right. Mm, yeah, maybe didn't. So, what is this tape supposed to actually do? Well, there's three main properties that are ascribed to Kinesio tape. Reducing pain, which is a good one, uh, reducing swelling, and proprioception. So let's take a look at each one of those. Firstly, reducing swelling. Now, the idea being that when you're injured or bruised, your lymphatic fluids swell up around the area and by applying the kinesio tape in a specific way you can lift the fascia lift the soft tissue helping the lymphatic fluids flow through that area both bringing white blood cells to the area for healing but also taking away the waste products and injured 
fluids, etc. So that's the first thing. Are you sure you're not qualified for this <laughs> <laughs> The next is proprioception, which is just a rather fancy word for being aware of where your limbs are in space. And I mean just space around that limb, not space up there. Anyway, uh, apparently by having something applied or touching that skin, it can activate the nerve endings and that can further help to improve the movement patterns or so they say. So the idea being that by having kinesio tape applied across your shoulders, it could help to improve your posture. And the final thing that it's supposed to do is reduce your perception of pain. Now, the first two things, reducing swelling, better proprioception, should already do that to a certain extent, but simply having something stuck to your skin can change your nervous system's receptors uh, messaging so that you actually don't feel the pain as much, which is obviously a big benefit. Now makers will also claim that improved myofascial release, uh, reduced muscle fatigue if you wear it while you're actually competing, and even reduction in delayed onset muscle soreness after a significant event. Honestly, are you sure you're not a qualified physio? Now you may have noticed by now that we keep referring to claims and supposed to's with kinesio tape. And that's not to say that we are skeptical as such, more we just need a little bit more convincing and to be sold on this stuff because kinesio tape is elastic, it's stretchy, it imitates the elasticity of the skin, but that means that it doesn't support joints in the traditional sense as when we were to strap a joint up to limit overextension or any unwanted movement. Instead, it's more of, I guess, an encourager. It kind of triggers the nervous system to help the body make more of an effort to move and perform better. Now, that sounds a little bit woolly, and we don't really like woolly when we're talking about injury prevention and treatment. But there is another pot potential explanation, and that is a very common placebo effect. Now, it is possible that kinesio tape doesn't work or only works in very specific circumstances when used in a very specific way. However, the fact that people believe it works means it does actually work. It is very possible that you can reduce swelling, reduce perception of pain and improve performance just by believing that the kinesio tape is having an effect. But before you say it, it's all in your head so there's no point using it. The truth is, if it works, whether it works or not, if you believe and feel it works for you, then use it, unless of course there are any negative side effects from using kinesio tape. But as I've said already, because of the elastic properties of kinesio tape, there really are, well, very few issues I can see with using kinesio tape. It's very safe, easy to use. You can even go ahead and practice and DIY yourself. That's right, so just another one here. It's a nice hairy patch just I think here. the operative word there being practice, Mark. Yeah, but that's, that's what I'm doing now. On yeah. me? Yeah, that's all right. Oh, I got that bit a bit wrong. Probably worked out by now that Mark and I are not experts in this stuff, so you probably don't want a whole tutorial from us, but if your physio does suggest you use it, you probably want to know what to expect from him. Yeah, so you may see your physio, or you can perhaps buy this yourself, using KT tape or kinesio tape in long reels like this, essentially pulling out and cutting it to size. You can also get in convenient strips that are pre-cut like this and obviously cut them further to size. Interestingly, things that I've learned around this which are probably quite useful, you need to apply this tape around 30 minutes prior to exercise, obviously because if you start sweating, it may start peeling off. On that note, in terms of moisture and getting wet, you can still swim with these and get wet and you can still shower whilst you're wearing this, but you need to have applied it a good couple of hours before you do get wet. Also, it does say rub the tape after application to activate the glue, which I definitely haven't done enough of. Um, I think you have done enough oh, okay. of that. Thanks. Now, as we've said, you can look at videos on YouTube and uh, self-apply it, but we'd suggest the first time, go to a physio, healthcare practitioner, they can do it, show you how to do it properly, and if you see any benefits, then you can DIY it from there on. I probably should have asked you before uh, we started this, how long does this stuff stay on? It's normally around three to four days. 
But yeah, so if anyone out there has used Kinesio tape, KT tape before and likes it, let us know in the comment section down below, or perhaps you haven't had such a great experience with it. Also, let us know in the comment section down below. It'd be great to hear from you. And of course, do give this video a thumbs up and give us a subscribe down below. Three to four days. I can't wear this all weekend. Well, I think it looks quite good, no? It's not even my sore leg. This is the leg that's niggly. Oh, do you want me to apply it on that one too? No, 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 we're good, oh, we're, we're good. good, thanks. I think it looks good.